This is the fifth lecture in the series on cloud computing for internet of things. In this lecture, you will learn about some of the basics about uh, a, an open source platform for cloud which is OpenStack. And in this lecture, I will be assisted by one of the TAs, uh, Mr. Anand Sri and uh, he will show you how to create, uh, how, uh, you know it is not possible to show you the installation of cloud or open stack, uh, specifically it is not a, uh, you know possible to show through this. Uh, those installations are available, the instructions for installations are available, uh, you know through uh, different links that are available publicly. Uh, now, once you have installed OpenStack, then how to create uh, virtual machine instances, how to access those instances and so on. So, those manipulations how to do, how to play around with OpenStack interface. So, those things we are going to show in this particular lecture. So, this basically is going to give you a practical exposure of cloud with a popular open source system OpenStack. And uh, so, this uh, through this actually you can use OpenStack. Uh, specifically uh, with uh, internet of things, uh, you know if you are building IOT platforms and uh, for cloud requirements you can use OpenStack uh, for it. Hi everyone, my name is Anand Sri and I am one of the TAs of this course. So today I am going to I am going to uh, show you about some basics about uh, OpenStack. So let us get started. Here first uh, let us start with uh, what actually is OpenStack. So, OpenStack is a software through which you can generate your own cloud and it is a joint project of NASA and the uh, Rackspace hosting and it was uh, established and it was first released in uh, 2010. So, right, but right now so many uh, companies, so many big big companies are uh, helping in developing the helping in developing the uh, this uh, software so some of the some of the companies are uh, Cisco IBM high speed Red Hat and so on so uh, obviously actually you can even contribute in uh, developing this software you can even uh, develop your code that can uh, upgrade the present open stack also so it is completely free and it is the only completely free open source uh, cloud developing software that is available in the market. So, some of the versions of the open stakes are uh, listed here. So, uh, it is uh, uh, released in order of the alphabetical order. So, uh, it was uh, first, it was 2010, it was uh, launched as the uh, Austin, but right now the latest version is the Okata. So, let us go to the next slide. So. Uh, these are the components of the OpenStack. So, in OpenStack, there are so many components, and its components are uh, uh, acting their own uh, function, and each component has their own specific functions. Uh, so, first, uh, uh, here is uh, a horizon. This horizon is the dashboard section. From this horizon, you can access other components. So, actually horizon is the GUI interface of the software. So, it provide it provides the GUI sections, it also provides the overview of the other components. So, when we uh, when we do the uh, practical section, you will know what the horizon is. So, uh, next is the keystone. Keystone is actually the authentication and authorization system. So, when a user access the system or when, when a user access the cloud, this keystone will be able to detect uh, if this uh, user is authentic or if this user is authorized to use the uh, resources that he is attempting to use. So, next, next component is the Nova. Nova is the compute service. Actually, Nova is the component where we are going to launch the instances and all. So, and the glance. Glance is the email service. So, uh, for installing uh, the instances we need images. So, for this we will use glance. So, it is also useful in discovering, registering, retrieving those uh, VMware also and through this uh, glance we can also give the snap store so, uh, so that we can use the uh, snap so later for the uh, installation of the other VMs also. 
And next is the sweep. Sweep is for object storage. So uh, sweep helps in storing data safely, cheaply, and efficiently. So obviously, it is also written on the uh, slide also. So the next is the neutron. Neutron is one of the most important part of the OpenStack because it is the it, it is a networking part of the system. It provides the networking service of the uh, uh, software. So through this, we can access other components. And through this, we can access uh, different, different uh, instances. And in the Neutron, you can uh, create your own networks. You can modify your own networks. And we can say that neutron, uh, new, neutron is providing like the uh, network as a service. So uh, next component is the cinder. Cinder is also a storage, but it is a block storage. Like uh, it is something like a pluggable type of storage. And the next is the uh, heat. It, and the heat provides or orchestration. So and the next is the cellometer. Cellometer is the billing section. Like uh, through the cellometer, one can, uh, one can uh, monitor what resources is using and for how long the resources is using so billing is actually helpful in uh, helpful for the uh, cloud service providers like uh, we can monitor uh, which user is using which resources and for how long he, he is using the resources and according to the time and the type of resources we can build them we can say how much resources that he is using how much cost for that so Next is so let's uh, get started the installation part. So actually, uh, in the installation there are many steps. Like uh, we can also install manually. Like we can uh, make our own VMs and then install it again. And it is quite uh, uh, difficult. So there are a script called DevStack through which we can easily install the uh, uh, install the cloud like all this OpenStack. Uh, in this DevStack. The installation steps are already written in the form of .ss file, so we can directly run the file and everything will be done by the script itself. So while installing the file, we may face some problems like uh, a proxy problem. Then it can the solving this kind of uh, problem is already fine, uh, already available in the internet also. So let's uh, here. Here also, I'm showing how to install it using the DevStack. So, DevStack script is found in jit.openstack.org uh, 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 website. So, you can easily clone from there, and you can uh, clone them, and you can access it easily. So, in order to clone it, uh, we have to first uh, install the jit uh, uh, software. So, in order to do it, just uh, perform the steps that I have given there, like. Uh, installation part just go to the uh, command and after that just clone it and after that go to the directory like this so let's go to the uh, machine where the cloud is installed and say what is it showing so let's go there so it is running here so Actually, uh, this uh, this DevStack folder is cloned in the home directory. So let's see what is in the home directory. So we can see that there is uh, yeah DevStack here. So we will go to this folder. So inside it so inside it there will be so many files uh, so we just need to uh, we need to run this dot uh, dot ss file so let's run it uh, like so it is saying that it is already installed already running the this stick so it means I have already the install the cloud in my uh, server it means we I don't need to install it so for uh, for the installation part just uh, go to the step and you will be able to install it so uh, for the installation go 
to, uh, uh, there is some settings like uh, go to the uh, local dot config file and set this uh, settings and run the dot ss file stack dot ss file for and for the uninstallation just run the unstack dot ss file so after that let's go to the uh, actual cloud and see some working about how to launch the instance and how to delete it how to access the instance at all so let's go to the cloud so here uh, i'll be assessing as the admin this password is the password that you set during the installation part so you should remember the password and you should remember the username also only through that password and username you should be able to access this uh, admin uh, section so let's access it so this is the this is the horizon this is the horizon of the uh, open stack means this is the gui part of the section so through this UI part we can access two different components like uh, instance instance is obviously the uh, glance part like uh, network networking is ex obviously the uh, uh, neutron part so let's get started with the uh, creation of the uh, key keys uh, user keys it will be required for the uh, launching of the instance so first let's uh, create the key pair so it should be start with the you just go click the import key pair and there is the command for uh, creating a key pair so just copy it and go there and mm, yeah let's copy it and make some yeah like this is the name of the key you should remember this key in order to access your uh, uh, instance uh, uh, yeah this two so just double click it so key is already created so we want to access the key already the key should be created here after we create the key so let's go create the key first let's access the key So this is the uh, generated key and actually this is the RSA generated key so copy it copy the key and uh, go there give some name this will be the name of your key pair okay so let's give it this two and uh, paste your the generated RSA key here so after that import the key so so we can see that the key is already generated so through this key this actually this key is generated using your keystone like this is the authentication part in authorization part so this key is doing the authentication and authorization part of the uh, cloud so uh, let's go to in and first we okay go to instance and let's launch an instance so let's give the name of the instance like this too so this is the name of the instance you should give the name of the instance anything you like and after that go to next and select uh, image this is the shiro's image this is the only image i have right now uh, next uh, next time uh, in uh, after uh, in the sometime we will be discussing about how to create the uh, image and all so let's uh, let's launch this instance first so you should edit it then go to next and you should select uh, one of the rims so you should be some you should select it carefully so so you won't be able you so that you your instance will be able uh, you will run smoothly as well as it won't consume the RAM of your uh, server also so for this heroes uh, this I'll select this tiny and after that next and for this network this is already I have created this network already so let's select this one and go to the network port and this security peer security group 
it's already default and after that uh, security pair so this is the security key that we have generated just now so so now we can launch the instance so let's see it is scheduling it is installing it will take some time okay it is active now it is uh, it is already launched so let's check if we can access this let's check if we can access this uh, instance the instance is here so let's check if we can ping this instance uh, in the IP of the instance is this uh, 10.3.36 3.6 .3 so let's see if we can ping so I think it won't be able to ping I'll explain you later so let's uh, exit it and let's set some rules and all so first uh, we haven't connect this uh, uh, this instance to any uh, external IP so if we don't connect it to external IP then we won't be able to access the other the other outside environment won't be able to access it so uh, let's uh, create let's see the network topology first so uh, we can see that this is our instance so test 2 is the instance and this is our uh, this is our network so and this is the public so until we connect this uh, instance to the public we the outside environment or the environment uh, the inner environment won't be intercommunicate with each other so what we need to do is first we need to create a router so let's create a router create a router okay let's give some name like router one router one so so it is created router and we can see that from the network topology the router is already created it is here so all we need to do is connect this uh, public outside public world to the router and then connect this router to the this uh, network so let's do it so go to the router and go to the interface and hit interface select your network this is DC this is a network so submit it and your uh, your network is connected to the router so right now what we need to do is uh, connect the outside world to the router okay let's do it so it is done so let's see the network topology so so we can see that the router is connected to the inner world and the outer world so right now this outer world should be able to ping to the inner world or should be able to connect with the inner world so let's check if it is connecting or not okay again it's not again it's not connecting also so why it is it so let's check it because we haven't set any security rule so let's do it so for setting up the security rule go to the access and security and go to the security group and manage the rule so so we can see that there isn't any rule that is related to pinging for pinging the rule should be ICMP right so let's add the rule S from here select the ICMP and add it so or our rule is added so we can s uh, we s uh, let's see that if it is accessible from the outside world again it is not so why 
because we haven't set any floating IP. That means our instance is not connected to the to the outside world unless you know we have to set the uh, floating IP. So let's set it. Go to the instance. Okay, go there. Associate floating IP and Let's generate one, a new one. Okay, it is generated and associated. Okay, so we can see that there is another IP. This is the floating IP of your instance. So through this floating IP, the outside world should be able to access this instance. So let's see the, if it's actually accessible or not. Let's copy the floating IP. Okay, so let's ping it. Right, so we can see that we can able to ping it. It means we are able to access this instance from the outside world. It is a good thing. So uh, let's go here. This is accessible, and we can check if it is. Uh, let's uh, set another rule. Let's add another rule. Like, let's see if it is. So we are not able to SSH the instance. So for this, we also need to add another uh, rule. So let's add it. From here, select the SSH rule and add it. So we should be able to access it. Since okay, okay, let's solve it. we can access the so yes so right now so here we are able to access it from the outside world we are able to access it from the outside world also so this is how we generate it and how we create the instance so right now let's uh, go to the a neutron part let's go a bit deeper to the neutron part okay so let's delete this instance for a time being so that it won't consume much RAM of the uh, hosting server right okay uh, let's launch Okay. Okay. Let's launch two instance. Okay, flavor tiny. It. We don't need it now, so let's launch this instance and let's create another network. So I'll show you how to create a network here. Okay. 
So for creating a network, just click the create network. And after that, give a name like marvels. Yeah, marvels. And go to next. Yeah, you should click this uh, create subnet part and go to next and give a subnet name like marvel sub and after that you should give your network address teen dot zero dot like okay foo dot zero slash uh, then for you should give the uh, this subnet in the form of uh, cider notation so let's go next and you should click this dhcp and after that create it should be created in, in a while it's going to take a while okay so we have a marvel and we have a dc so let's connect this network so let's connect the uh, uh, instances that is created inside this marvel part and the dc part so uh, let's create another instances It is taking a bit longer than I expected. Okay, let's access this from here. So, so instance, let's refresh it. not take this long it is taking here also same here okay it's coming so we have generated two instances one is the lantern one and then another is the lantern two so let's launch another two instances let's call it garden okay so let's select the same and let's go to the next and select the your flavors select it next and select the marvel next 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 so we don't need this key right now so let's launch it it's gonna take a while yeah this is guardians and this uh, instance is under your marvel uh, network and this lanterns is under the dc network so it is creating so let's wait for a while Okay, it is created. So let's go to the network topology and check if uh, check the network topology here. So it is loading. Let's wait for a while. Yeah, we can see that this is your lanterns and this is your marvels. These are not connected. So that means we won't be able to access this uh, PC, this guardians from this lanterns because they are not connected. Okay, so let's check if it is uh, you know uh, accessible or not. Okay, let's go from here and let's go to the lantern. Go to the console. Okay, 
for the zeros this is the password just so it is okay sorry okay login as zeros and password is a cup swim so we are under this zeros so it is the lantern 2 so let's check if it is you know we can access the guardians from the lantern let's check the guardians okay what is the ip of the guardians let's check it so ip of the guardian is this so let's copy it and let's check if it is accessible or not okay let's go here and ping ping dot 0 0.4.3 so it is not accessible so we should set you know we should connect the two networks so let's do it let's do it so go to the network go to the router so router is already created so go to the router and edge interface hit the marvels here so here so here we can see that from the network topology these two worlds are already connected so right now the two should be able to connect to each other so let's check if it is able to connect it or not so right now we can see that the two networks are able to connect so this is how you set your uh, neutron this is how you set up your network and this is all so let's end here uh, this session so so these are the references